when I started floating, I felt that it was this incredible opportunity for the body to finally just relax. And then once the body relaxes, you can start dealing with all the crazy stuff that happens in your mind, right? As you know, I play violin and it can be really, really grueling. Like a lot of people think, oh, you play music, it must be so relaxing and, and so beautiful and all of that. But actually, when you're playing every day, all these bits of you just tighten up. You end up living in this state of anxiety. What do you call it? Flight or fight. Flight, flight or fight, yeah. When the system is just buzzing Absolutely. out of control. And so you of all people know what floating does. It's funny, I just, I would never have thought that playing a violin like classical music would create so much tension. Well, the biggest difference between classical music and other music, any other improvised music or made up music, um, or music that say if you're a rock band and then you go on tour for six months, so you're repeating the same thing. So it's really in your memory. But classical music, we're reading all the time. And if we read all the time, we don't retain it and we don't listen to it because the brain can't read and listen at the same time. It spends a lot of time alternating like back and forth. But when you're reading, you, you only have this short period of re uh, rehearsal time to get these massive symphonies ready for a performance. So we only have two days and then we have to do three concerts. So the reading brain is really heavily developed, which is also the abstract brain, which is also the opposite of the creative brain. And so what floating has, has done for me personally is after a couple of sessions, it ends up uh, quieting down the abstract, mathematical, crazy stress brain. And, and yeah, and, and awakening the creative, free thinking brain, which then ends up balancing you and I've physically wow. settling you down. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I hadn't thought about it like, mm. from that perspective and or the fact that when you're playing so intensely and having to read all the time that it consumes so much of that left hemisphere of the brain. Yeah, yeah, which mm. is extremely stressful place to be all of the time. And not only that, we work nights, a lot of nights. So we have full days teaching, children, whatever. Um, you know, we, we wake up at a normal time and then we uh, make our dinner and then we rush off to a concert. So we're still working till 10.30, 11 p.m. And this goes on and on and on and over time, the bits of your body that are overused, they just get more and more and more. Like with us, these shorten and the back ones overextend and it just creates all of these zigzag problems. I've noticed that every time I have stressful thoughts, the parts of my body that are overworked by violin, they just automatically start tensing up. And that didn't happen when I was floating regularly. Yeah, all those bits that normally subconsciously started tensing up, especially here. Um, they just are allowed to relax and relax and relax, yeah. So Sarah, we've known each other a little while now, but I was remind me how you got into floating and how you got to come to Water Temple, because I know it's not around the corner from where you live. No, it's not what you would call convenient for me. <laughs> the complete opposite side of town, but worth it. Um, well, I know you, if you remember, you discovered floating, and then you were, you were telling me all about it, and I thought, Ugh sounds weird you know I'm a bit conservative actually but because you have this fabulous personality like mine a little bit pushy a little bit come on try it it's really good for you and I'm like oh okay and so it was absolutely extraordinary and I will be honest it wasn't like it was so strange the first time that it was kind of it was like nothing else I'd ever done in my life and then the second time I just dive down into this deep meditative state where the hour in the tank just passed. The third time I was able to really watch my thoughts go by uh, and detach myself from my thoughts, which is also a really important um, thing that happens in floating is that you can, you can observe your thoughts just like you do in meditation. But often in meditation you, can't, you get distracted by noise or whatever. The great thing about floating Oh, especially here, it's the most beautiful, beautiful centre. I mean, you will not find bathrooms cleaner than this place. You feel like you're in a space-aged environment. Anyway, I, I'm getting off track. So thanks to you, I discovered floating. And I have floated all around the world. But this particular centre, congratulations, it's absolutely beautiful. 
So Sarah, what sort of benefits do you get from making a regular, like you float on a regular basis? Yeah, there's a lot of issues there. A lot of um, people don't do that special thing for themselves because they think it's selfish or they've got too many things to do. But that's a part of the problem that, that brings you into this stress state. So, so forcing myself to come here, because um, it was forcing myself in the beginning. You've seen my diary. It's impossible to fit anything in it. And it's a big trip here. But um, once I made that regular commitment, I started noticing that body and mind became so much more connected. And each time I floated, a different sensation would happen. Sometimes I would be bored. Now being bored is actually really important in today's society because people aren't bored anymore. If they're bored, they go on to the internet and they find something to do and they watch TV. So sometimes, yeah, constant simulation and that's part of the problem leading towards anxiety. So being bored, you get to be bored in the tank, it's fantastic. You get to go into a deep meditative sleep-like state, which isn't sleep. You can totally feel your body restoring. So sometimes you get in there and there's something bothering you that is on your mind that you really need to deal with. So you use the time to just nut out that one particular problem and the tank gives you that space and time and mental energy to be able to, to deal with that one particular problem to Because that process. point, that you could see that emotion straight away just then with you mm, that I, you saw yeah. and then you felt yeah. and then it, you remembered yeah. that you could process that in the tank. I'm actually it, getting goosebumps yeah. feeling how how important those sessions are. So whatever people expect to get out of floating, it's going to be different than what you expect. It's this life-changing mind-body experience, which, I mean, this place is just perfect for it. I mean, I, as I said, I've been to other flight centers, but this one is quiet and clean and beautiful. And there's gorgeous candles everywhere. And it's just the most conducive space for self healing which we all we all need it